Hey everybody, it's uh, Heath Beaford here. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video. I had somebody ask me a question about a lick on Hard Times. Banjo tune by Ralph Stanley. And uh, I thought, man, this would be a good little opportunity to make a quick video just to break down this little part because it can be a booger bear. I know it was for me trying to figure it out. And uh, I just, uh, when I read the comment, I thought that'd be a good video to make a, uh, a short little breakdown of. But uh, the tune's Hard Times, and uh, Hard Times, as Ralph Stanley played it, has a backstep in it, much like Clinch Mountain backstep, where you're leading on one beat, and then you swap to the other beat. I think technically it would be like uh, playing in 4-4 four, four timing, and then you swap to a 2-4 timing for a measure there. I think that's the technical term for it. But, uh, to, and to do that, as Ralph did it, he had this one leg that he would play, to lead into the time change the, or jump or the, the drop beat, whatever you want to call it, happens when he goes to the minor chord. But to set it up for that, he has a little lick that he plays, a little ditty that he plays, a certain way to get to fall seamlessly with with that timing as he wanted it, I guess the way he was hearing it, you know, when he had the tune in his head originally. He set it up for that. And, and uh, I've heard other banjo players play at hard times and they would straighten out that time and, and kind of create their own version of hard times. Uh, and you know, that, that's neat too. And uh, I've heard uh, I've heard other guys play it their own way, but they would keep that timing in it like Ralph did and they would just follow their own little crazy way, you know, into the minor chord. But uh, the question was, you know, about the lick that Ralph played to set it up and it can be a booger bear to fall into that minor chord with that timing as Ralph played it. And uh, I'm just gonna make this quick breakdown here to uh, hopefully clear up or uh, help anybody else trying to figure out how to fall into that as Ralph did. Because it is a little tricky, but it's not as tricky as you think once you see it. And that's what I'm gonna try to do is show it here to you. Uh, the part we're talking about on hard times, you know, after it kicks off. try to stick with the way I just played it because there's a couple different ways to play this <laughs> but I, for the sake of this video I'm gonna stick this way and I'm not exactly sure if this way is how I did it in my video that's on here of me playing hard times but for the sake of this video I'm gonna show it this way uh, the roll starts off the index finger on your second string followed by your your uh, middle finger and you're doing a, a two, three hammer on, on the second string there. So. And I'm just doing a, a two, three hammer on on that second string. And then I'm keeping it fretted for the rest of the roll. So it's going to go. Here's your left hand. All I'm doing is that two, three hammer on that second string. Okay, right here's where where the 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 issue the issue comes in is right here. So after you do your little, you take your index and you do a two, three on the third string. Then how do you do that two, two, three on the third string? Get your middle finger on the first. So you do the two, three on the middle string. Then the first string gets hit with the middle, then it's back to your thumb. And then you end with the middle on the first string again. 
So, to get a little bit closer. And that left hand, all it's doing is that two, three on the third string this time. All right, after you do that, and all that is is your basic Reuben roll with your thumb starting on that same middle string doing the two, three hammer on. So you're going thumb, index, thumb, middle. Then you end on the open bass. Just a quick breakdown of the left hand. And then you would fall. And you know, all that is is just right here fretting on the, the fifth, fifth fret third string, uh, second string, fourth fret. And some people slide into this. I don't do that. I hammer onto it from an open position. I, I do it like this. But that's how you get into it. So the whole lick right there would be try to do it real slow one more time. anybody out trying to figure out the little what I call the booger bear lick on hard times. Hope y'all have a good one.